आलोक ऑल्सो यू नो टेक अस थ्रू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द फेस ऑफ दैट वी हैव सीन बिटवीन आजम खान स्पेसिफिकली and the bjp of course this is another case now that he's convicted in one of those that was again taken up by the party but uh, there have been several other times when azam khan in particular has been uh, has been at the uh, end, receiving end of the bjp i'm sorry i appear to have lost your audio all right alok are you able to hear me now I can hear you now. Can All you right. please repeat the Al- question if you don't mind? Yes, Alok. I was asking you about the several other times when we've seen a face-off between Azam Khan and the BJP specifically. Uh, well, yes, you are uh, absolutely right. In fact, like I said, uh, you know, ever since the BJP has come to power in Uttar Pradesh, uh, you know, uh, it has tried to uh, sort of dislodge uh, Azam Khan from his Rampur stronghold. and at the same time the police has also filed a host of cases against him like i said most of those cases have to do with land grab and property matters uh one of the main people who's gone ahead uh, in this legal uh, you know onslaught so to say on azam khan is a bjp member his name is akash saxena he also fought an election right now and he's also a prominent businessman in that uh, area now he's with the bjp and many of the fir's in fact even this particular fir i am told was filed by uh, that gentleman uh, in this case now like i said the bjp always says that look uh, you know if somebody has done anything wrong then that person will be prosecuted and like i said the samajwadi party keeps on saying or at least uh, keeps on uh, it keeps on saying that look uh, you know this is a witch hunt against azam khan like i said so uh, you have both points of view both perspectives and at the same time you also have a situation where azam khan in the last 4 or 5 years has spent a major part of that time in prison in jail like i said he got bail in the last of those 90 cases earlier from the supreme court uh, this year and now he's been convicted he doesn't go to jail uh, because he's been uh, allowed to appeal the sentence in a week and has been given bail uh, by the court but it is certainly a setback for him and the samajwadi party